those damn Republicans are picking on the Bidens again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Start that there. again. All right, those Tommed Republicans are... <laughs> Those Tom Republicans are picking on the Democrats, the Bidens again. They never did that to Trump. What's the deal with that? Anyway, we're going to talk about that. And um, they're, they're also persecuting this poor little FTX guy for God only knows what. And we're talking about some conspiracy theories about the New World Order. Um, welcome to Relevant Rants. I'm Mike Harvey here with Tom Touchstone and hey, Chris Keeler. Um, yeah, we're getting into it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mike. So, uh, would your mom have washed your mouth out with soap when you were little? <laughs> she did. Okay, <laughs> many times. Michael got that too. Uh. <laughs> they are investigating the Bidens um, mm -hmm. over over uh, Burisma and uh, uh, Hunter's former partner has mm -hmm. uh, said stuff. And this was a while ago. And them uh, allegedly doing bad things. Well, this started uh, when Biden was vice president. Yeah. The big story is uh, some some I can't remember somebody there was a CNN uh, anchor that was talking about hey they they're the first thing the Republicans do when they get into power is go after uh, the Bidens they never did that to Trump never. supposedly <laughs> it's like all they ever did the whole entire well, damn well, time well, the Republicans didn't go after <laughs> Trump you well, can get mad at well, me well, well 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 what, <laughs> what, what, what what are they? What are the? the you know, I think the current administration has come after Trump since the day they took over, right? Yes. Uh, no, actually, before that. Oh yeah, that's true. You're right. <laughs> I yeah. stand corrected. They started the moment he came down came down the escalator. <laughs> well, and as soon as they put Merrick Garland in as head of the DOJ, it went completely politicized. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, you know, there again. I mean, I guess you have to say, well, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, mm -hmm. right? But uh, so, and then this this FTX thing, Chris, you're going to know more about this. Oh, than anybody. this is going to be fun. And, and mm -hmm. he ran a um, crypto, right? Mm -hmm. um, untraceable. But now he's filing bankruptcy, and there's like what some some billions of dollars that have gone missing. And oh, it's only like like thirty one and a half. <laughs> yeah, billion. But yeah. But, but the biggest Democrat donor is Soros. Mm -hmm. uh, the second biggest is this guy now. Yes. But the money disappeared. So, um, so well, uh, a lot of it didn't exist. Okay. Because one day you have Tell to explain crypto. This. Well, it, we we haven't got time for that right now. Well, uh, just real, he doesn't have to explain crypto. Real, but... real short. Okay. I mean, so we you, have time. You could trade crypto like you can trade stocks. Okay. So he ended up making his own coin okay which he owned all of it but he used that as collateral for these loans I but okay i'm on track that that token had no value because no one would buy it but he owned it all well and there's several billion so it was almost like a fake deed on a piece of land in the middle middle of the pacific that you said is worth Billion. I, I, I get excited when I play Monopoly because when mm -hmm. I own Boardwalk and uh, Park mm -hmm. Place, I think I'm rich until we close up the board and put the houses in the box and close yep. it. So it's yep. kind of yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm, So where did the money come from? Oh, he, he got um, uh, loans and investments from all over the place. The uh, Ontario Public Schools pensions oh, wow. Oh, wow. just wrote down their $95 million investment into FTX to zero. They just put another $20 million in earlier this year. Hmm. So it's almost a write-off once you come to those kind of things, too. Oh, yeah, because um, it, it appears there's only like seven hundred and fifty grand left cash uh, and, and marketable securities. And it's untraceable, so where did it all go? Well, but he also had that Alameda, which was uh, a regular hedge fund right. that, had, that supposedly had stocks, um, but they were losing their tail on horrible trades. And but there was money going back and forth between the two of them. Illegally, yes, because it, uh, they weren't allowed to, but SBF had built in a back door so he could transfer it without his lawyers or the SEC or anybody else seeing it. Wow. Because yeah. it it's, it's not real. Well, the money was real. No, I know. But, but his was, collateral backing yes, it up wasn't was necessarily real. Yeah. So what was he claiming as collateral? His own token that he made up. Yeah. No, it has not worth anything. <laughs> yeah. So he just, he just yeah. made something up and he's like, hey, I'm going to this fictitious like cartoon. I got my, of a, uh, I, hey, yeah. I'm paying off all my debt tomorrow. I, <laughs> yeah. At, at church, we have a thing called big bucks. 
Mm-hmm. They aren't real, but the kids can trade. And now he's filing them. bankruptcy, mm-hmm. so he's going to walk. But this is oh. like they're pressing criminal charges. Well, he's still in the Bahamas. And right after they filed bankruptcy. So is Bahamas a non extraditionary country? Well, they're, they're, they're trying to get in the middle of all this. The okay. Bahamian officials uh, forced him right after the bankruptcy filing to transfer all assets back into the country, out of the U.S. In, into Bahamas? Or yes, into, into okay. the Bahamas. Because possession is nine-tenths of the law? Yes, so they want to manage bankruptcy. Yeah, it's... I used to work in bankruptcy, and you do too, right yes, now. Yes. And boy, so why do they a, want to handle that? That's a that's a that's uh, a that's a very interesting industry. They'll be holding the cash, uh, or marketable securities, or what have you. Yeah, I like that word there, marketable securities. Yes. I so that. I mean, that covers the crypto, that covers stocks, that covers bonds, but then also all of his real estate assets are in the Bahamas. You know, he owns several penthouses and whatnot. That that that's the bulk of the wealth. But and you can't take uh, property with you. You can't take real estate with you. No, you can't take anything with you. It's gonna well, yeah, to heaven. But I mean, just saying, you can <laughs> yeah. you you, are, you can move wherever you want, but you can't take it from the bombs. So no. So we 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 have something really really interesting. We were talking about uh, mm-hmm. the um, um, conspiracy theories, right? Mm-hmm. Big conspiracy theory about the new world order, which is interesting. Chris, can you yeah. can you? It might be too small, but can you read that where it says Wikipedia down underneath the video? It's a conspiracy theory which hypothesizes a secret emerging totalitarian world government yeah yeah i mean honestly i mean this is something that we can read about in in the bible the bible mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah and now one they're saying it and you know what can i ask who elected these people no one no one no one no not one. a single one no. of them not one of them <laughs> no i may not vote for them you know, no. i'm just saying no. i mean there's got to be a point where there's a little bit of a modicum of responsibility and a little bit of reasonability put into this because it just sounds bad. We're just sitting here talking about crypto. There's nothing that backs it up. Yeah. Oh. And she's talking about going to that stance for the yes. world? Yes, for everything. That that way you can see everything. The, 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 yeah. The beautiful part of like um, no. of Bitcoin <laughs> is everyone can see exactly where it's moved. Yeah. Now, I, those, understand, I, I understand blockchain a little bit. Yeah, so it, it's it's an open source ledger. Yes. So you okay. can see what went out, what went out, what came in, where well, it went. It, isn't it fun, isn't it funny cuz she says we have to go to something that leaves the old accounting system behind? Yes. How many I mean there again, if you're not really up on it, you don't know what the new accounting system is and there's nobody that's going to be able to catch up with it and everybody that school's going to have well, to change. Well, the New math won't fix this. No, but... The, uh, well, they, they have their own version of the new math. I mean, the other guy <laughs> talking about this is the World Economic Forum. Klaus Schwab. Yes, ran by Klaus Schwab. Oh, the, the, yeah, the things uh, that are being said by this group and by that group are terrifying. Yeah, and I, I mean, it, it's it's two hands of the same actor. Yeah. Right. Um, for, with the same end goal. But, I mean, Klaus... To, to, to control us. Yeah. yeah. And Klaus Schwab's talked about the Great no. Reset. He wrote a book on the damn thing. Yes, and it's all over their website. <laughs> you gotta keep using that word. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just on and Wednesday. Going back to the last one, it, it, I mean, the whole point is to blow up the entire financial market. Yeah. Why? Wait. For what purpose? They don't want. To, they, they they don't want the strongest economy in the world to run the rest of to yeah. have a bigger say than the rest. Yeah, but then also, if you burn everything down, you get to build it back up the way you want. Yeah. Yeah. The Great Reset. Yeah, which, it, uh, I mean, FTX could be the contagion. Mm-hmm. Everyone was invested in it. Hundreds of thousands, maybe even I like millions that word. of... It's because it sounds like a virus. Contagion. I mean, it is. And, yeah. and the entire financial market's so intertwined from country to country, uh, from stocks and bonds to crypto to cash to real estate. I mean, even look at uh, back in 08. It was Lehman Brothers who was backing the mortgage, the insurance on the mortgage-backed securities. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. Lehman Brothers and AIG that crashed and brought the entire economy down. That was just mortgages, which killed everything else. They're all intertwined. Everything's mm-hmm. traded. Mm-hmm. So, boy, oh boy, yeah, you guys yeah. have to keep. You have to pay attention to this. Stuff. So we we ha- we have some videos from uh, Danny here. Do you have those, Alex? Tuesday, Trump announced that he is going to run for the 2024 presidential election. Now, as a Republican and conservative, I love hearing that. You know, 
I love seeing Trump on the big screen again and uh, at the podium getting the crowd riled up. I enjoy that. But is Trump the best thing for the Republican Party right now? Um, DeSantis. Um, man, there's nothing I can say bad about the guy. I love him. I love what he's doing in Florida. Um, man, he's doing a great job over there. Landslide victory. Love it. Um, now, here's the problem I see with the Republican Party as of right now. And I feel like we're going to get this split down the middle, kind of either on DeSantis' side or you're on Trump's side. And we cannot, no matter what, let that happen. We cannot get within ourselves and tear ourselves apart from within. That's what the Dems want. We have to stay together regardless of what side you're on. Okay? Trump, DeSantis, let's stay together. Let's keep a common goal in mind. So uh, Trump Trump made his announcement the other mm -hmm. day. Was it Wednesday, I believe? Yeah, it was Wednesday. I think so. And um, did you see any parts of the speech at all? No. Did you? No. Okay, so... so I thought, I don't, no, I did. I did, but I didn't, I didn't watch it there. What was very interesting was um, how uninteresting the speech was. That's what everybody's commenting on. I read that. It was that. very controlled, very mm -hmm. calm. It's like a new Trump, right? And we had a conversation here in the office yesterday about how... Trump, um, everybody thinks the man's crazy, right? Not everybody, a lot mm -hmm. of people, uh, especially the left wants you to believe that. But um, we were talking in the office about how that's just the character he plays on TV to get engagement and, you know, views mm -hmm. and stuff, right? Um, but he's actually, like, you don't become a billionaire by being an idiot, no. right? Jordan Peterson did a great um, um, kind of a psychoanalysis of Trump the other day because a lot of people are saying he's a psychopath and Jordan kind of just broke it down on what psychopaths really are and do, and basically said usually people would go away from them because they don't succeed in anything and they don't stay with anything. And that Trump does, and people still are doing business with mm -hmm. him. So that right there debunks yeah. that first theory. So I think you can put some thought into what you're saying, Mike. That I, what, what I've heard about it, and what I did see the parts that I did like about it, is that um, he uh, was a new Trump and a lot of people said, man, uh, last time I would never vote for him. But if he stays like that, I like it. Yeah. Well, well and what, they're, they're, they're reconsidering. He, he said he said a couple things that were very interesting. One is he focused a lot on foreign policy. Why? Because his main rival in the primary has no foreign policy experience by nature of what he's done over the past course of his political career. Mm -hmm. Right. I think yeah. everything's foreign to him nowadays. Right. Um, so but <laughs> going point. to the White House looks like it's a <laughs> foreign subject. Well, but not, not by not but, Trump. But he Biden. stood up and said, "Hey, we had peace. They mm -hmm. did. Um, they said everybody said, oh, hey, um, Trump's going to start a war, start wars.' He didn't. Mm -hmm. Where's the war happening? Under Biden. Yeah. Biden's not going to start any wars. Oh, except for he's has a proxy war going in Ukraine, mm -hmm. allegedly. Allegedly. You're welcome, Alex. Um, he he also came out and took a big stance, which I think most of us would agree on, if not all of us in this room would agree on." Um, on voting, right? He said voter IDs, same day voting, and the votes have to be counted on election day. Not, a, we still don't have some of the counts, my, and we're ten days out from it. My <laughs> vote, I turned my vote in next door to the GOP headquarters. Yeah, the Monday before election day. Uh -huh. So the day before election day, it just got counted yesterday. I just got Why? The, the text that it was counted yesterday. You, you know, you know, you know. I, I, I think we could just take some, um, maybe a little bit of. Um, uh, knowledge away from the American Idol because they can determine a winner in like mm -hmm. a commercial break. No, 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 a commercial break. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One commercial break, you get your winner. Yeah, how can you figure that out for TV? But And, and, and every other country is capable of doing this, yep. and, but and, it's supposed to be one of the most, just, if not the most advanced country in the world. I mean, just call And we can't figure it It's like 10 days later and we're still counting? Well, that's, call the Powerball guys. Well, yeah, look, $2 <laughs> right? billion dollars yeah. and you had an answer, like, bam. When, yeah. yeah. Like, well, I mean, it, it, it took them 12 hours to get everything dialed in before they could draw the numbers. But Yeah, <laughs> but they had the dude, and they yeah. called him, and yep. yay. Yeah. I, I would yeah. like to know where he was when they called him. <laughs> but, but again, what was you know, you know, You know, commercial, I think, is funny. And I, I, you could put the train wreck on right now. It's not him <laughs> doing train wreck. But have you heard that one where the, the, the guy with the, a Latino accent calls his boss and goes, Hey, boss, the new guy, how much you pay for him? And they go, $20? No, so that's too much. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> that's everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny. Yep. It's funny because 
you need to know what you're doing. That's why we live in a country that should be able to fix it through mm -hmm. legislation and yeah. everybody should be able to stand there and say, yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, there again, I think we're all willing to say we could be good losers, right? Yeah. yeah. But you want to know the process is fair. Exactly. I, I, used to pl I used to participate in a sport that was subjective and I hated it, but I had to submit myself to seven judges who got to judge me based on their thought of what a body looked like. Mm -hmm. And and I did that because I wanted to compete, but I had to subjective it. We don't want to be subjective in this election process. We no. don't want to be no. subjective. No. no. <laughs> so uh, we're, we, we, we've been doing something on this show, which is our good news segment. Yeah, a lot of you who watch our shows, uh, we have Lunch Break, we have uh, Muscles Matters and Ministry Matters, and we have our rel Relevant Rant show. We have uh, a lot of people that help us work on the shows. And we have two creative consultants, Taylor Touchstone and Tessa Jimenez. And she's got married. You saw uh, on our show, Danny yeah. Jimenez, her husband. But Tessa is the Daily Wire's talent manager. So she ma manages all the talent at Daily Wire. And so last night, they were at Univ the uh, University of California, Berkeley mm -hmm. School. And uh, Matt Walsh was there. And they had a full packed house. We can uh, just do a real short clip. And uh, Matt was discussing the whole idea and philosophy around gender dysphoria and you know and the procedures that are helping people undo one gender and become another gender. Yeah, yeah. there there again you see it's packed mm -hmm. house listening to Matt Walsh mm -hmm. who just produced probably one of the uh, one of the most impactful documentaries that has come out and it's streaming it's still streaming at the top. What is a woman? It's a question everybody's still trying to figure well, out. What, what's the good news takeaway from this? Oh, the good news takeaway from this is there's people in Marin County, Marin, Marin County, San Francisco, that are interested in the conservative truth. Conservative values. And conservative mm -hmm. values, but the truth. Yes. You're talking about there is two genders. Let's not get not this. more than that. You know, what, <laughs> not what, less what, than that. what did Angelo uh, Frazier say? You know, paleontologists won't dig up a transgender person and wonder what gender it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> yeah. You're going one way or the other mm -hmm. in archaeology. Tell right. me if I'm wrong. You were born one way or the other. You're going out one way or the other. <coughs> you might you might put on some some makeup or some prosthetics in between then, but you're still going to be one or the other. Well, well, you could take it off your birth certificate, <laughs> but when an archaeologist digs you up in a thousand or two thousand years, or let's go what along with them. As, let's play the game. As. Thirty million years from now, they're going to say, "Is this a male or a female?" Mm -hmm. That's one of the first things they're going to mark down. On their clipboard. Well, and they're they, they don't have your birth certificate. The yeah, they don't have your birth certificate. <laughs> they're looking biologically at this person, and it's not going to change. They're going to say this person was a male, person was a female. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. That's the way it is. But but the good news is there is hope for not just the state of California because Kern County is doing okay still, We're hanging on by a thread. Mm -hmm. But um, even in Marin County, there are people that are pursuing yeah. truth. And it's well, well, well the, the cool thing is they're just talking about it. And I think that's what's cool about the Daily Wire. They're going in and just talking about it. They're presenting some of it, and they're having a great exchange of ideas. So you, 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 you said you were going to do something for us during this, this segment, which is well, 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 applicable well, well, to our lives. One of the things that I, we hope to bring away from uh, these are there's hope. You know, I think today um, in our Bible study that we were doing, we were in um, Thessalonians 1. And it's talking about steadfast hope because hope in the future. And I think that's where our hope is based as believers. We're basing our hope in Jesus Christ and the fact that he's established, you know, a place for us in heaven with God, the father. So as we're doing that, there is a steadfastness in hope. And I just want to lay, say out there that hope is one of those things that people need. Mm -hmm. How do you get your hope? I'd like you to be really focused on what am I hoping in? Are you hoping in the bank or crypto? Because we're seeing that fall. World order? I don't think so. Republicans or the Democrats? I just got to say, they've all let us down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they've all let they us have. down. So all we have is we have hope, but it has to be steadfast. You have to hold on to that steadfast hope. But you better have something to anchor on to and be, you know, be convinced in yourself what you're believing in. So we want to we want to make a point, and I think that's where we're going with this show. Did I make watching. a point? You did. Okay. Um, uh, I want to make sure. I, <laughs> get pa I want to get paid. I want to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making my point. Okay. Is um, 
we want to make a point to bring you guys some good news yes. because mm -hmm. like there's lots of negative news going on in the world but there there is hope and, and those who have christ have hope yep. hope right? in christ yes. hope in christ um but we also want to make a point to for you to walk away with something that you can apply to your life so anyway i hope you've enjoyed today's show have a great day god bless